I loves me some one degree mm, of Chunky B. to make a comment about Chunky B. Have you ever seen him looking so good? The panel then includes actress Lady Kazan, comedian Chunky B, and Playboy TV host Julie Strain. Chunky? Uh, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to let you know, it's a rainy day, folks. It's a rainy day in Los Angeles, but it's a beautiful day. And it's a, it's a beautiful day, and let me tell you why. We've got a beautiful person in, in, in the garage of love. Thanks for dialing in to ChunkyB.TV. Real quick, across uh, the table of love, say hello to Gary Adler, the executive producer. Thank you, Chunky. It's a pleasure to be here. It's right Storm Watched 2014. <laughs> we will rebuild. Everyone panics. We will rebuild. We, we will rebuild. Because <laughs> we are L.A. strong. Um, Penny, put yourself on. Hi, y'all. You guys, this is Penny Lane. She's the new addition. Not even new. What am I saying? She's the digital ninja. She's on the road looking for Kevin Bacon. Um, and uh, we absolutely <laughs> adore you. You're representing uh, Dogtown. And I love the fact that um, you dressed up with some lip gloss. Yes. We've noticed the lip gloss. I did put on gloss. lip gloss today, guys. Hey, uh, wow. what's, your name? My what's your mom's name? Katie Sewell. Hey, Katie. How you doing? Katie. It's Chunky. And I want to let you know, uh, we one adore your daughter. And... I want some makeup because we know you're a makeup artist at Neiman Marcus. Don't tell me I haven't been tracking you down. Okay, right, let's that's talk. a little creepy. I know it is. I, I felt Stuck creepy doing my it. Mom. You guys, why are we here right now? Because if you guys know anything about One Degree of Chunky B, we actually, um, we are like present in today's society, and I'm going to break it down. But real quick, Penny, go over to this beautiful woman, Gabriella Capelthwaite. Calperthwaite. Calperthwaite. God, I love it. You know, I, I always mess up your last name. <laughs> and let me tell you why I adore you so much. Can we introduce what? her first? Yeah. Oh, oh gosh, yeah, yeah. Blackfish. Hello. <laughs> if you don't know what Blackfish did to today's society, what? <laughs> Nothing. I'm good. Let's What's go. Look? Let's get going. I'm talking right now. Yeah, you're off the game plan, but let's get going. <laughs> Am I off the yeah, script? Yeah, you went way off script. <laughs> about us? And hey, let me tell you, I'll tell you about us. Okay. I'll tell you exactly what we're talking about, Brother Love. Okay. And I appreciate your enthusiasm. How about... Um, <laughs> it's getting how, serious. Hey, how about episode 14? That's right. When we had this beautiful woman, Gabriella, on our show, and oh. she happened to... what? Can we talk about her being the director and writer of a, a, a show? I mean, a, a movie yes. that brought SeaWorld to their knees? Guess what? It was us because she was on our show. <laughs> It was clearly and, us. And no, no, no. I know you're rolling your eyes. Uh, okay, what are you thinking? No, you're absolutely right, Chunky. We've got a guest right here, and she hasn't said a word. I, I, I can tell you. I'll tell you exactly what happened since she's been on this show as a result of her of being degree on the show. B, yeah. What we did for her. The CEO stepped down from SeaWorld <laughs> recently. Their stock is down 35%. You're kidding. Okay. No, um, sh she's won two impact awards, if I'm not mistaken, one from the Brits and one from uh, the Humane Society. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, and by the way, uh, major protests at the Macy's Parade uh, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. year, um, and Southwest Boom. Airlines also dropped SeaWorld as Boom. a partner as a result of her being on our show. <laughs> One degree of chunk <laughs> eat being has blown across the country. You guys, Domino thank you, Gary, for bringing that home. You're welcome. You're welcome. How about a big round of applause for one degree of Chunky B? That's right. Okay. And, and Venice Duck. We we'll couldn't have done it without the duck. That's right. Yeah. Um, okay, Thank listen. I love the fact that Gabrielle's in the garage of love and she hasn't even said a sentence because you know something? This show's not about you. It's yeah, about no, this what is we did to society <laughs> to open the eyes of America. And if you don't know what Blackfish is, go join your friends in Al-Qaeda because one degree of Chunky B, we have changed the world, Penny. <laughs> Very passionate. I love your passion and enthusiasm. <laughs> I know I, I fucked up that whole thing. That's we, fine. We, we had a pre-production <laughs> meeting without this you. It's gonna be all cut out. Let's just okay, edit all. Uh, Another about right Blackfish. <laughs> I want to say congratulations to your new house. Oh hey. hey. Oh wait. Hey. Cut that off. <laughs> cut oh, that we're cutting sure. that <clears throat> new house. We're cutting that out. Yeah. What? We're cutting it. Because I made no money off Blackfish. 
Yes, that's oh, right. right. Blackfish did not like, buy her the Wait, wait, wait. House. You why have a husband that's names? a doctor that works his ass off. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. Exactly. Dr. Brian, if you're watching this right now, I right. got your back. Your wife is not even giving you credit. But you know something? Why don't you come on the show and we'll change the world again? I okay, listen that. to me. Listen yeah. to me. How are the twins? They are great. Thank really? you for asking. They're a thousand years old. <laughs> Right? Do Don't get me started because I'll start but, crying. Like, in a sweet way, but maybe sometimes not in a sweet way. <laughs> like, they're okay. so much older, right? Gabriella, yeah. Jack turned 14 yesterday. Oh, come on. Swear to God. No way. Swear to God. Can you is he it? kind of a lacrosse champion? He is. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, God, his ass handed to him in Vegas. Oh, and the reason why I'm calling lacrosse. That was at the blackjack tables, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the reason we're talking about lacrosse is uh, Gabriella happened to do uh, something awesome with uh, Body by Jake. In Denver, that was years ago. Right. Um, let's let, let, actually let's slow down because I'm I, I'm too excited. Um, <laughs> Gabriella is the director of Blackfish that we we mentioned. I want to say thank you for opening America's eyes, the world's eyes. Everybody, you have impacted uh, the world about what needed to be revealed. Right. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I, th I think it's. I think. You're so nice to say that. I mean, I, I honestly think it struck a nerve. Like, I think it struck a nerve, right? Like, I just think we were all, like, waiting, I think, to maybe try to figure out if some of these shows are, like, they're, there's just, you know, are, are fraudulent or, like, I don't know. For, for whatever reason, if you go to really obnoxious kind of entertainment venues these days, <laughs> you wonder what's behind the curtain and what's behind what's behind mm -hmm. the curtain, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you're just... What, I don't even think it's because we're cynical. I actually be, think we're kind of living in like an ethical time, like where we think about GMOs and we think about organic food and we think, you know, mm. we're like, wait, wait, no, people have been kind of BSing us. We can't believe, we can't drink what they're pouring all the time. And kids, man, it's kids. It's like parents are into this cause for sure, but we're also kind of, we also went to SeaWorld. We're also part of the problem, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. But kids are like this. Why did you ever take me there? There is nothing there that's interesting to me. You know, if you're telling me that those animals were happy, which they do in SeaWorld, they kind of convince you that they're happy, and they're actually the opposite of that. Like if everything you were actually selling us was really the opposite, we feel cheated, you know? And we would have never wanted to go, and we don't want to take our kids, and you know? So really is that, I, I think hitting the fact that it hit the kids, I think is what sort of made this a quote unquote movement. Okay. It's resonating I, I with kids. Want, That's I, awesome. I don't want... Right. I, I know this is going to be off base. I have never seen you sexier than just right now. <laughs> really? I swear to God, there was movement in the proctoral area. I'm a happy by, married man, but By the way, right they've just there. released all the proctorials. <laughs> <laughs> and From, now, their fin, now their fins back up. Yeah. <laughs> they got happy fins. <laughs> now let's talk about a couple of things. Please One, SeaWorld's big reaction is, let's build some bigger tanks. Am I right? Right. Um, and what's happening with the bill that was that was brought to um, uh, is it was it brought to this to the floor? It was I mean, brought to the floor. It was stalled. Um, everybody wanted to do further research, like mm -hmm. their own research. Mm -hmm. So it'll be reintroduced um, okay. later at a later date after everyone kind of like reads up on it. It's a very controversial bill. Yeah. And you know to try to get San Diego on board, right? Because we're talking mm -hmm. about California. Um, oh, everybody else is on board. San Francisco, we are, mm -hmm. LA, everybody, but um, San Diego's a tough nut to crack. Obviously, that's where SeaWorld is. Yeah. So tons of jobs. A lot I mean, of you money. You can see a ton of money, right? Yeah. So um, it's, tougher with it's that It's the one. face of San Diego. Yeah, it kind of is. People travel yeah. from all over the world to go to the San Diego SeaWorld. It's crazy. Right, right, right. So, right. But yeah. here, here, here lies my, um, my thought. What a change in today's reality that you were the cause of in such a great way. She you, put the pebble. She dropped the pebble. And, and, then, and then the ripple, right? But it's here's, amazing. Check this out. Not a freaking dime. Isn't it crazy that you had such a world impact and there was nothing in your pocket for it? <laughs> Could you sell those I impact don't... trophies? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I'll tell you what, maybe we should have an auction. The impact award trophies are up for sale, folks. Gabrielle, I know <laughs> right. I, that, really. I sound like I'm kidding, but I'm actually not. Right, right, Isn't it right. Weird right. That on crazy. a day to day basis, you could hear uh, shit about what you did on the radio. And, and I don't mean to call it shit, meaning the, the power that you. Uh, you know what I'm getting at. Released. Right, right. Released. The power that you released 
and you're sitting back going, you got to feel good about yourself. You got to have a smile on your face. Right. But there's nothing in the bank, right. and you caused all this <laughs> awareness. Probably. Well, you that's... deserve a couple million dollars. Oh, you're nice. Um, uh, like, but I, I honestly, I think it's um a documentary filmmaker thing. Like, yeah. I think it's a lot of independent artist kind of thing as well. Like, I think that, like, you do stuff and you're super earnest about it. And yeah, you know that you should, that you, you believe in your work, right? Like, I went to Sundance and I was like, it's like, I know I, how I made this. I mean, I created a film, you know, and I, and I thought very deliberately about, like, the pacing and, like, could a 15-year, would Jack, you know, be into it? Would Riley be into it? I'm talking right. about, you know, our kids. Like, yep. when they sit down and watch this thing. Um, and that the and answer so is yes. About it, and the answer ends up being yes, because you make it, in it, you know, you make it frenetic. You make it intense. So it's not just earnest documentary teaching you something, you know? So when I went to Sundance, I was sort of like, I believed in it. But you slowly become convinced that your film may or may not be, you know, might might be great, but it's not going to make anybody money. So it's this weird, suddenly you're like, but I think it probably will, because I think people will probably watch this. Right. And uh, and yet you're slowly convinced. They break you down, and they're just like, documentaries do not make money. Right. If you had a chance to do something different, what would it be? Oh, that's such a good question. Um, Another documentary? <laughs> <laughs> just completely <laughs> different. Um... Uh, you know, I don't... What did you do wrong? What did you do right? <sighs> you know what I did? I, I do feel like I over-promised cast members that they would have, like, media opportunities. There are just, like, a lot of people who, like, sign up to be in the documentary, and they're mm. really, really... Um, they want to sort of <coughs> become a part of it. Oh, I shouldn't say this. Any of this stuff. This is really they don't. super. Okay. They, they, you know something? I'll cut it. Sorry. Right. It's no just, one's... like, suddenly I'm like... Yeah, I don't. It's okay. Suddenly, hey, just for the record, Barbara Walters, what up, motherfuckers? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah can it. we can we get a Vaseline it. lens on him, please? <laughs> we'll cut his mic. We're gonna um, cut him off. No, I mean, in terms of um, doing something different, you know, I think we would have been smarter. Uh, I think in terms of valuing um, ourselves, our product, right. we would have been smarter about it. You know, but in y y your heart and your gut. You got to sleep at night knowing that you fought the good fight and you put your dukes up and they had a standing eight count right. and, and, and right. a whole, you changed the view of what society thought was cool. Right. And it turned out that it wasn't. And I know I'm being redundant or, compa uh, you know, repetitive. Saying, repetitive. Yeah. repetitive. <laughs> oh, words. But Gabriella, I am honored that you and I live on the same street. I drive past your home and thinking that woman's got a set of balls that no one else has got. <laughs> okay? And the other day I was jogging. You know something? The only reason I jog is to hope neighbors see me. <laughs> I don't. I don't jog to it's, like work out. I'm like, oh, look there, that was jogging. about pretending jogging. you work out, yeah, not exactly. actually working out. So Dr. Brian, who's one of the most awesome individuals, that the only thing wrong with Dr. Brian is I don't spend more time with him, which oh, is your husband. Oh. Yes. Um, he gave me a big you. invite. He loves you. Uh, over during the holidays, so I'm going to come yes. knock on your come door. Come over, come on, I, run over, jog over. It's like three houses. Hey, are you are you in town Christmas uh, Eve? If, are we what? Are you in town Christmas Eve? Uh, yeah. Okay, can we come to your house and grab you, and you can go Christmas caroling with us? It's yeah. a great big thing. We just like here on our streets or whatever. Yeah, we go around. We've been oh doing God, it for ten so years. Fun. Super that's fun. That's the cutest thing yeah. I've ever heard. It's really that fun. Yeah. So let's go do that. Yeah. Right. We all, all the kids let's do that. Can we do a move like a moving a roaming podcast? Oh, why Ooh, not? No. I'm just <laughs> 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 like, no, that's a Listen, lot of work, it's guys. It's more about the Jesus' real. birthday than anything else on that night. <laughs> spoken like a real Jew. It's really not, <laughs> it's really not about our podcast. <laughs> it's about the Lord and Savior, baby Jesus. <laughs> hey, you guys, this week's music is Funky Zen Groove by Tap Boo. Now, you can find this and hundreds of more cool tracks at playupmusic.com. You guys have got to check out our brand new sponsor, Venice Duck Brewery. You want to get your quack on? Taste some of this. I'm Gabriella Cowberthwaite, director of Blackfish, and I'm on One Degree of Chunky Bean.
Just, hey, I want to I want to ask a question. I want to yes. get back to the real deal. And that is last time you were here, episode 14. By the way, we're on episode 44. <gasps> wow. Right? That's lucky. Yeah. Oh 44. Gosh. Um yeah. 44. You said we talked about a sick whale in the Netherlands maybe or yeah. And you said, mark my words, SeaWorld will get that sick orca. Did that happen? It hasn't happened as of yet. Okay. It hasn't happened as of yet. Um, oh, with, with Morgan? Yes. Well, SeaWorld owns her, but whether or not they get, uh, you know, acquire her and bring them to their park or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that is all up in the air. But they do... Um, they do possess her. She, they is, own she her. is their property. And where does she live right now? She is in Loro Parque. Oh, she is in that so horrible she's place in, that, exactly, in Spain. Exactly. Oh, good lord. Yeah. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary, you got a lot on your mind, dude. You get, look at Gary. He's got, I've never seen him have. You so know much that eyes. they just um, a new orca was bred recently. Is that correct? Was born in SeaWorld. Yeah. Yeah. And they and and they haven't stopped that, and they're not planning on stopping it. Is that the deal? No. Um, see, and so when they, because you, this kind of is is helpful because it brings me back to a point you made about how they're restructuring the pools, or they want to yeah. increase the size of the pool. So what everybody needs to know about that is one, they haven't even pulled any permits for this, right? So there's, it doesn't look like it's even actually been doesn't really exist legitimately, you know, pursued, right? The second thing is, you know, more room is really uh, ostensibly what everyone thinks is is so it can accommodate all the whales they're going to try to breed mm. because they're going to keep just advancing their breeding program, which, you know, as we know from the film and, and whatnot, it means mothers being separated from calves, means, I mean, just disrupting their families, and it's just breeding anyway, which is just horrific. And I yeah. mean, Blackfish doesn't even go into that. So it really is to accommodate all the new whales that they would have in. So per square foot of water, they probably wouldn't have any more room. In fact, they might have less. The last point about that, SeaWorld is doubling down on their business model overseas. So we're That's talking where they're about putting the their Middle money. East, we're talking about China. So uh, like, if yeah, things China, get tough heard, here, yeah. bam, they're just Everything going to goes over there. Yeah. Wow. Did you get so, any pressure from any special, uh, special groups wanting to change the name to African American Fish? Did you get any pressure? <laughs> I grow, I grow weak. I grow weak. My eyes don't rest. We clearly have very... Why do they walk over here in the rain? <laughs> She's like, oh I got out goodness. the rain for this. There's a still... monster in LA, guys. Yeah. I mean, listen. I, it is. I know. God. And you came walking in soaking wet. <laughs> yes. Um, really are you still living it every day? Is living it? Every, it? Yeah. yeah. This hasn't stopped. I get stuff in but, the email it, every day. Right. But do you, do you ever check out and like go a week without thinking about it? Or do you feel it every day? Oh, you know, you can't check out. I mean, I think... It's like, it's just, I honestly think in five years from now, I will totally understand what just happened this past mm. two years. I so, feel like I, I'm so in it. I right. don't get it when people go, oh my gosh, did you hear the CEO back down? I'm like, yeah, but you know, what does that mean? What does that mean in what context? Like, it's yeah. just, it's you, so You're just going to get now. another CEO. Well, they're going to get another it CEO, matter. right, right. Okay, Gabriella, it doesn't matter if they get another one, but you've got to wake up in the morning going, gotcha. A little bit. You know, I don't, I'm not trying to be over competitive. Right, but right. What I, I just can't comprehend how it would feel for what you did. It, I'm right. blown away. I am blown away and honored and, and, and freaking out right. that you, little super cutie over there with the headset and your little red thing and ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and boom, look at me. You know, so I'm, I'll, you know I, I can barely you know help my kids across the street. But you <laughs> shut down a fucking... It's not shut down right. yet. Well, right. Well, well, uh, you know, and so. you, but you, what you were right about, <laughs> you well, change the perception. Thank you. That's and what, that's, that's the most important thing because the right. next generation that comes up is going to be put the kibosh on all that crap. Well, and here's the the weird thing too, like about like another thing about documentary filmmakers is there's like this crazy amount of humility, like almost to an annoying extent, right? Like we we're always filming other people. We think everybody else is super interesting. Like, that's the point, right? right. We're just mm. like, that is a great story. And then someone's like, oh, but you, blah, 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 SeaWorld. And you're just like, no. Yeah, I was you. just in an edit bay. I was I, really, I, I, I just right. did an 80 minute yeah. film. I was this mouthpiece for this thing. But did I ever think I was bringing them to their knees? No. Mm. Did I ever, did, let, let's be honest here. Like, did I want 300 people who maybe had no dis bad decision-making stuff, like trainers maybe and so forth, who were like, make nothing? Did I want them to lose their jobs? No. Like, I wouldn't have wanted that. You know, I wouldn't have wanted Of course. That. However, 
you know, I think because you come at it that way, you come about your work super honestly. Right. Like it works, you mm. know, and people see it and they're just like, oh, okay, she didn't make a billion dollars off this. Oh, okay. Like right. she is telling the truth. No matter what SeaWorld says, this freaking 80 minute document is scathing and st- totally honest. There were so many things that I could have put in, put in there just to be incendiary, hmm. just to keep like other people in their seats. So right. many things I could have put in there. I didn't. It's like super disciplined. So in a way, humility won out versus their complete hubris, right? I always mispronounce that. Yeah. Hubris, like right. total arrogance saying we've done nothing wrong. In fact, we've done nothing. We are so, we're not even going to say we did anything wrong. We're going to say we're proud of yeah. everything we've ever done. Like, who even says that? Right, right. Ever. Well, you know, it's a spin. It's a, you know, it's it's a spin, a doctor. It's a crazy spin. Um, um, what? You, so you have footage that never made it to the public eye. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you own it? It was you I with, don't the, own it in, with the breeding part. Oh God, I would love to have yeah. done that job. Yeah, right. Some, uh-huh. You know, Penny Lane. You know, yeah. you know. Sometimes you gotta, you know, beat off a whale. She does have that footage I don't of Chunky. Know that, yeah. No, 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 no. He I, got in a macrame well, speedo. What? We might have a new future for you. Okay, we might have a new I job for Penny Lane. I think I'd rather you live look in good my in, car a, in a bikini. You. you could be a Sea World trainer. Okay, let's not um, let's lose talk about focus. Willie Nelson. Let's. Yeah, I want to talk about all the bands that 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 are stopping. Because of yeah. Blackfish. I, I got a couple here. Bare Naked Ladies. Stop. Willie it. Nelson. Trisha Yearwood. Heart. Cheap Trick. The list goes on and on. They all canceled their shows at Sea right? And I heard yeah. Fish canceled. Awesome. Fish. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's one. Chunky <laughs> <laughs> B. Yeah. yeah. Um, Gabrielle. Okay, yeah. I know we're, you know, I'm making fun because um, once you text me and said that uh, no, no. Your, your parents were in town. We're good. And everything's cool. Uh, I was happy that Brian was safe. And um, what's coming down the road, baby? And please tell us. Because I know you, you know, you, you've got this ability to not blab of futuristic documentaries. But I'm thinking about making a documentary about you making a documentary. <laughs> That's not black. It's just like a black hole. Like, While boom. you're jogging past my house. Yeah. It's, like, yeah. But it's all like yeah. that. The whole, um, every shot. You, can, you, can you tell us anything? You know it? what? Um, I can't, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Great All right, folks, we'll see you next time. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. show, <laughs> um, I can't, I am not doing Blackfish Part 2. I will tell you that. Okay, good. Okay, I'm not. That's done. It's done. It's it's just, it's, you can't, the work that has to be done now on behalf of that whole cause has yeah. to be so different. Give us a hint, you know? baby. I know you're being protective, but I, I, I respect that. There's nothing. But There's a, a lot of stuff in development, but nothing, I'll be honest, nothing okay. in pre-production. Okay. Nothing's like, in the in the works works okay. like it's going to happen kind of okay. tomorrow but everything's percolating the reason why i said okay five times in a row is because in this garage of love on yeah. one degree of chunky b yeah. you've got people right here that will support you in any project oh, this right. woman right here penny lane right. is an awesome uh, uh, assistant director okay right this guy right here yeah. you got any create you want anything creative pow <laughs> Right, you go just right to him. Anything wow, me mediocre jokes. Just- Medi- you want mediocre <laughs> jokes? Yeah, you me. You want yeah. jokes that you haven't heard in twenty years? I will open up a whole can of. <laughs> hey, oh, let me let me let me bring, let me bring, bring one thing up. Of course, at the Macy's Day Parade, there was mm-hmm. a thirteen-year-old girl. Her name is Rose McCoy. Do you know who that is? Mm-hmm. She jumped the barricade with a sign that said yeah. "SeaWorld hurts orcas." And uh, the police roughed up a few of them, but she's she actually got in there and and, and walked with the the float a few a few miles. Mm-hmm. If you have anything to say to Rose, I don't know if you've met her before. What what would you tell her? You are my flipping hero. <laughs> you can That's say my awesome. awesome. dorsal flipping hero. Say you tell Rose say so Rose much. McCoy. Rose yeah. McCoy, I love you. Um, I do know you, and you are my flipping hero. That's so awesome. <laughs> and this goes for all the kids, right? Because I call the kids now who are all behind this the um, quote unquote, I can't believe we used to do that generation, right? Because they were right. the ones who were just like, what? Like, right. what yeah. were we doing for all this time? Yeah, and just for the folks at home, you do realize you can get on a boat and go see a whale. <laughs> right. Well, watching. Especially you can. in California. It's, a, it's, right. it's easy. Okay, I know I'm going off track, but did you guys see the YouTube thing about a, a boat going out and th- there was a whale floating and the boat got a knife and cut the net 
Oh, oh yeah, I saw that. that was oh cool. yeah. Oh, and yeah, yeah. and you know what the whale did? Did you see the end? When he starts yeah. preaching and, and dancing for an hour, jumping up Amazing. and dancing, yeah, saying yeah. thank you. That's exactly. Makes and me then cry. The, the, and oh. the boat people, the boat people, the people on the boat. <laughs> the boat. You boat. know they came out I of grew, Cuba. I grew they, up in yeah, Miami. That's people. that means all. Yeah yeah yeah. All your friends were boat people. <laughs> it's but, been. But you gotta I check just, it out. I don't even know how. What I know exactly what you're talking about. I watched it and was cried. Of course. Aww. I bet I cried more than you. Nobody cries more than me. Really, for real? I swear to God. Are you but like, do you like like that cry or does it just tear up? No, no. I look away. I come out you. Like you ugly do? cry. He yeah. ugly cries. Like falling. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's my orgasm. <laughs> you, you, you confuse both of them. Crying yeah. and orgasm are two different things. It's anybody, a fine line. If it's anybody a fine knows the difference, line. it should be you. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Again, my parents watch this. My mom's our biggest fan. Okay, She's okay, all right. She's got lip gloss on, mama. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, you mean the world to me. Oh. Your family means the world to me. I'm gonna come by uh, not not tonight because it's raining, <laughs> but I want to meet your parents. You want to meet my parents? Yes, and you can ask Adler. We were gonna text you and say bring them to sit them on the couch. Oh my god, yeah, they we were gonna have them sit in next time. But they're just they would be like so like overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> no, they would so so like, ease them into it, even with all the duct tape. <laughs> There's really yeah. not much to be yeah. overwhelmed about really here. really can't see what's up. <laughs> I love the fact that the people can't see the behind duct the tape. camera. Yeah. This is like duct tape. There's three tape. or four roles here. We should do the behind the scenes. We show, should do a like, documentary duct about duct tape. tape. Yeah. Um, a reality show. So yeah. I'm so impressed with, yeah. her, with this person. <laughs> Thank you for being here. And I know you um, have a whole bunch of stuff to go uh, home to. Thank you for being here. Is there anything on your mind in closing that you, you, you want to say, oh, by the way, you since um, episode 14, mm -hmm. because of you, oh, well, a second, because of us, we changed the whole world. Because yeah, we, besides we, that. You mean, <laughs> right, right, yeah. besides um, that part. <clears throat> you opened up a whole group of people that would normally not dial into one degree of Chunky B. Yeah. Really? And I want to say thank you. Oh. And now I'm following, you know, the Sea Shepherd. Now I'm, oh, getting, yeah, I'm, get, the I'm, I'm getting all kinds of stuff. And you made me dial into a community that um, I adore yeah. and respect. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to yeah. thank you for that. And it's thank you. awesome. Oh, here we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, I know. Here I feel go. the Let's, same way. I feel the same way. It's like, I think no, I finally you should release your pet walrus. <laughs> <laughs> After all these cool. years, I don't believe. I don't believe. I just look at this. I just got a more allergy. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You're ridiculous, you. bro. Will you be my friend forever? You're my friend forever. Promise? Forever. BFFs, Let's never. You prom can we pinky swear? We'll never move. <laughs> Do it oh, right now. Pinky hold swear. On. That's sweet. Wait, no, let's get on camera. Okay. Hold on. Get over here. Get over there. Get over there. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We got it. <laughs> okay. Um, Penny, do you have a question for her? Yeah. You, what's on your mind, I. Do you know Kevin Bacon? Ask that. Oh, oh yes, my really important question. Yes. We are on the quest for bacon. Do you know anyone who knows, or do you know the Mr. Maybe. Kevin Bacon? Um, Kevin Bacon. No, I don't personally know him. Damn. Do you All know right. Him? Good question. No, I will pop out of his don't check Gabriella. <laughs> check Gabriella off. Okay, first. ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Gabriella Black. She's got some stuff coming down the pike that she can't talk about. Um, see this right here, baby. Right. See this. Always. Thank Here. you for changing the world and making it a better place to be. Thank you. Oh, Thank that's you. a great way to end this, Chunk. Thanks. You Chunky B. I love you guys Garage so of love. much. Lots of love. So much. Garage of love you. That's a wrap, people. Mm -hmm.